Hi, I'm Maya Jupiter and I'm here with the very talented singer-songwriter Aloe Black, whose song I Need a Dollar is blowing up right now. How do you feel about that? I am ecstatic that my song is, is making its way to major radio and TV and that kind of thing. This is completely unheard of for an indie artist like me <laughs> and you know what? It's a, just a lot of good things. Definitely, which is the name of his uh, album that's coming out at the end of the month. But tell me about the influences and the, the inspiration behind I Need a Dollar song. Um, the influence behind I Need a Dollar, the inspiration, it's all very, I think, classic soul. I like to call it brand new old soul. And that's how, we, how I you know, put together the album. But with I Need a Dollar, it's just uh, a song about the trials and tribulations about life right now, the economic downturn mm -hmm. and, and how people are struggling. Um, with mortgages, with paying rent, with uh, anything, you can, you name it, people are going through it right now. Definitely. And I know a lot of your music has a, has a message, a sort of subtext about uh, creating positive social change. Why is that? Well, I look at the, the greats of, of soul music in the past, and I think um, I'd like to carry on the tradition of making music that is not only good for celebration, and having a good time, but is also uh, inquisitive and thoughtful that makes people think and, and calls them to action in some way um, and starts the dialogue at least, at the very least, about what we need to change in society to make the world a better place. Pretty heavy. Now, you have been compared to a lot of, um, a lot of timeless, pretty amazing artists like Otis Redding and Marvin Gaye and Bill Withers. How do you feel about those comparisons? I'm really happy about those comparisons. I mean, <laughs> if they were uh, if they were not so classic and timeless, I'd probably be upset. But <laughs> to be compared to the greats and the people that I consider heroes, that's one of the best um, compliments I could get. Right now, your record it's titled "Good Things." It's coming out September 28th. Very excited about that. What can we expect from that album? Um, the album "Good Things" is full of really insightful lyrics, some very um, uh, introspective and, and sentimental lyrics, and also just really good musicianship mm -hmm. with real human mu musicians. Right. And uh, it, I consider it um, to, to be a song, an album that can be uh, placed on the shelf next to the classic soul albums of the past. Which is quite an evolution from your album of 2006, Shine Through. Yeah. Tell me about that growth. Well, Shine Through in 2006 was, I guess, uh, a compilation of many different genres and styles that I do, from hip-hop to R&B, salsa, dance hall, folk. Um, and I just wanted to, um, to focus on this album in one direction mm -hmm. that helped my artistry grow and helped my fan base grow. Um, and, you know, in the future, I'm going to continue to make many different genres, but probably one album at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm working on another album right now in the hip-hop genre with DJ Exile. Right. A new Eminon album coming out? Yeah, a new Eminon album. Fantastic. What other, what are other styles that you do? Um, other styles, I'm hoping, you know, to release a salsa album at one point in the future. But um, other, other music is some kind of Brazilian style of music and some acapella experimental styles, dance music. I pretty much I'm going to touch, I think, every, every aspect of music. Speaking of every aspect of music, that's pretty much what you can find when you head over to Do Over on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, you're the party host and one of the promoters. Tell us about what it's like working with all those amazing eclectic DJs. Well, the Do Over, I think, is the best party around. I consider it the adult's playground. It's <laughs> The only place you can go on a Sunday afternoon from 2 o'clock to 10 o'clock, hear the best music that you've ever heard in your life, maybe even be educated on some new sounds that you've never heard, and have fun with, with people, and it's free. Um, you know, Haycock and Strong are my uh, partners in the, in the party, and we've been doing it for, this is our sixth season, uh, and inviting great DJs from around the world and, and here domestically. Uh, it's just a wonderful thing on a Sunday afternoon in Hollywood. Nice. Well, coming up this Saturday afternoon, you're going to be at the Getty Center. The last time you were there was 2006. What's different about Aloe Black in 2010? Well, in 2010, the music is more directed towards soul. 
but this energy on stage is just the same, if not better. You know, the musicians I'm working with are top notch, and we've been performing this music everywhere. We did Central Park in New York. We've uh, performed all across the Northeast and rocked in many different cities, and I'm so happy to um, debut this music in Los Angeles at the Getty Center. Beautiful place to hang out, and he will be there this Saturday, September 11th. Make sure you check out Aloe Black with the Grand Scheme, the new band at the Getty Center.